Los Angeles, California. New York City, New York. Memphis, Tennessee. Seattle, Washington. Omaha, Nebraska. What? All right, all right. To be fair, Omaha is not the first place you think of when you think of great music. But let me tell you something. The Omaha area is crawling with fantastic musicians. You can walk into any club any night of the week and hear some amazing musicians that you've never heard of. And neither has anyone else. You know, we're all about bringing you the finest original musicians in their natural habitats. I'm your host, Moose Epperson. Please join me as we check out some more great music that's just lost in Omaha. This is a this is a tune about a sweet young lady. Patrick, thank you very much for joining us on the show. We sure. really appreciate it. It's great to have you with us. Um, just got a couple of questions for you, man. Uh, okay. You know, first, how would you describe your music, your style of music? What do you? What would you call? Wow. That's that's actually really tough because uh, pretty much everything I do is is all over the board. You know, I mean, I I write hard edge tunes for the Backseat Deacons, and 
my stuff is as you've heard or will hear um is is a little more melodic and i guess it's just whatever hits me i really can't can't categorize it who are your biggest musical influences well obviously dylan anybody that's heard me knows that uh definitely dylan um guitar wise john fogarty chris spedding um you know some of the the Link Ray, guys that got up there and just really made you listen. All right, well, here, here's a tough one for you. Who's your favorite musician or band? Currently or ever? Uh, you know, I'll throw it out there for you. Who? Again, it's tough because I like so many different things. You know, I, I, I think if you, if, if you look at that, I would probably have to say Zappa. Because he's the only person I know that really cross every genre in every album. Yeah, without you a know, doubt. He, without a doubt. How do you approach the process of songwriting? You know, it, it, that's a really interesting question. It, it uh, each song comes kind of differently. Sometimes you'll be playing guitar, and just something comes to you. And it, it suggests a line or it suggests something. Other times you'll be driving along and, and a lyric will stick in your head. So it really, it, Keith Richards once said that, uh, that he has like a, an antenna that sticks up. And every once in a while a wave of creativity would smack that antenna. And... I really can't argue too much with that because that's kind of the way it happens, you know. There's no real process other than once you start. Once you start with it, then there's a process. It's getting it down, uh, working your lyrics, making them say what you want to say and all of that. But the initial inspiration um, comes from everywhere. Musically, what are your goals? Keep playing. <laughs> Pretty simple. This is a song about, uh, well, you'll see what it's about.
you know, you, you were born and raised here in, the, in Omaha, but then you moved to the Midwest, I'm sorry, from the Midwest to the West Coast for a number of years. You've also traveled you know, extensively. Yep. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the other great music towns you've performed in? Wow. Um, Austin, what a, you know, anybody that knows anything about That's live Austin, music. That's Austin, Texas. Knows what Austin, Texas. Well, no, no. I, it was Austin, Minnesota. It was great. There was 11 people, and 10 of them were musicians. It was freaking <laughs> awesome, man. The, the one person in the crowd rocked, you know, loved everything everybody did. It was awesome. No, uh, Austin, Texas, uh, Seattle was great. Surprisingly, probably the best music town I was in was Dubuque, Iowa. Really? They had a great music scene. Um, I was partially responsible for starting the very first mosh in Dubuque, <laughs> Iowa, and scaring the hell out of the uh, uh, bouncer and, and club owner at that place. But yeah, it, it had a, it had a great place. Uh, Boston was great if everyone would have left for the weekend, um, so you could have enjoyed it. Um, there there was just I, I, a lot of great places. I say Seattle, Boston, Austin, Austin, Boston. You know if I can find anything that rhymes with that as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what level of support for local original musicians did you find in these other cities? You know, that, it's funny because that really varies. That's one of the things, one of the problems that I have here in Omaha is that all of those places, they really came out for the musicians. They supported the musicians. In Austin, you've got over a thousand stages in about a, a mile and a half area. And not a one of those is empty at, on a night people come out to to watch local local bands in seattle uh their their local support is is legendary uh san antonio my, you know my friend the smith brothers down there they never ever played in front of a, a a crowd of two or three people you know here in omaha if you're not part of the indie crowd or a a, a cover band it's really hard to get people to get up off their asses and come see you Okay. Well, what uh, what can Omaha, the Omaha area, do to help support local musicians? Start coming out to see them. Just that simple. This is a song called The Angels Way. 